Hey everybody, happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yay. <laughs> so how is everybody doing? I hope that everybody is having a great Friday, had a great week this far, you know, and looking forward to the weekend. I hope everybody had a motivational weekend, was motivated this weekend, was inspired this weekend, you know, but as usual, I'm coming to you guys to give you guys a message that I hope will motivate some of you and inspire you. And today, I want to talk about prayer. Right? So, a lot of us do it. A lot of us do it consistently. A lot of us do it every day. And some of us, we don't do it at all. And it's also according to what you believe in. But prayer, right? It's necessary. A lot of people, I feel like the ones that don't pray probably have a negative mindset when it comes to prayer overall. And I believe that is because I feel like when you pray about something and God doesn't answer you and the time frame of which you want him to answer you, that you say, okay, yeah, no prayer doesn't work. And ultimately, that's a lie. That's something that the devil, the enemy has told you and that you have believed. He has made you believe that so that you won't pray to God and receive the things that you ask for if you continue to do it. Right? Now, one thing about prayer, you have to let God do him. Because... God is on his time, not yours. And if you ever look back at a time in your life when you have prayed, you know, and, and that you have received things you prayed for, that right there in itself should be confirmation that prayer works. Because prayer, when I say prayer works, prayer works. It's just the key is that you have to have the patience, you know, and you have to also do the work for which you prayed for. Because faith without works is dead. And that's another thing, you know, that deters people. It's because they expect to have the things that they want without putting in the work. No, ma'am, or no, sir. That's not how it works. You know, God is not going to allow you to ask him for something. And then you sit back and get comfortable. Like, any day now, like, is it supposed to fall in your lap? No. You have to put in the work. Key scripture in the Bible, faith without works is dead. Meaning, whatever it is that you pray for, you have to put in that necessary work to get to that. And once God sees that you're doing that, then he will eventually give you what you want. But again, you have to have patience, y'all. It's something called seed time harvest. C, prayer, right? Also C, putting in work. Time, time, meaning God's time, not yours. Harvest is then whenever you get all the things that you've prayed for and you get to enjoy it, right? So you cannot rush the process. You have to trust the process of seed time harvest you know and for those of you who don't pray you know god also says in the bible you have not because you ask not how many of you have really took the time to really ask god for things and i mean real you know things that that you that you really desire in, in your heart like you have not because you ask not sir or ma'am you didn't ask them you just expecting probably things to just happen for you. You just expecting people to just give you things. You just expecting all of these things, but you're not asking for them. And also, when you if you have asked for them, do you really believe that he'll give it to you? Because also another scripture, whatever you ask for in prayer, if you believe, you will receive it. So you have to have that faith believe 
that what you're asking him for, that he'll deliver it to you. So th these are just key things to just remember. And if you need to write these scriptures down, write them down again. Number one, faith without works is dead. You, you got to do the work. You have not because you ask not. Have you asked them? And number three, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe in you will receive. So how, 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 how big is your faith? Do you have faith? And if you don't, ask him for that. And he'll provide it to you. I promise you he will. Y'all, when I say how much prayer works, like I'm right now sitting and living in some of the things that I prayed for. You know, and that's my confirmation to continue to pray. Because again, don't get the things. Once you get the things that he gives you, don't stop. Don't stop. You you got to always pray because God is the guy. He's going to always take you from level to level, from glory to glory, as long as you keep asking and believing in him and trusting in him. You know, so there are things like, you know, that I asked for, for example, for me, you know, there was a time in my life when I wasn't working. You know, I, 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 I was trying to do little businesses here and there. You know, I was basically a stay at home mom for the most part. And I was doing this for, for a while, for some years. And, you know, I, I kind of got stressed out about it because I'm like, you know, I wanted to work, but it's just like I couldn't find the, it, for me, I felt like I couldn't find the correct, the, the right job for me. And it was, it was a, it was a time in my life, you know, where I was struggling, y'all. My struggle was, yeah, I was there, which most of us are. And I just always used to pray to God, like, please just, you know, I, I don't want this. I don't want to not be working. You know, I want to be able to provide how I want to provide, not only for me, but for my kids to be able to do things, do more, have more, you know, overall in life, I just want more, right? And when I tell y'all right now, baby, when my plate is full, <laughs> y'all, my plate is full, like, from the time I get up, literally from the time I go to sleep like I am productive I'm not just busy I am productive meaning I am doing all things to help me get to where I'm striving to get to in my life y'all like sometimes I be having a woosah like and I mean literally once I get up in the morning I'm on it working out videos just self-development work after work you know cooking you know clean all in between all that you know i have to clean and then i have to do you know school and then i have other things that i'm doing now on uh, webinars it's just like you know i got so much going on now and i had to squeeze that time for me and you know because that's important too you can't forget that when you find yourself so productive find time for you and still find time for god so you know god right now y'all i am living and answer prayers i can't stress it enough y'all how important prayer is and how much it really, really works and how God will show up in your life. You know, even this essay to another scripture that he would do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or imagine. So just imagine, you know, you are consistent prayer and God give you more than what you ask for. All because you believe. All because you have that faith. All because you asked. <laughs> y'all, and I, when I tell y'all, I know the feeling that I have now, I know he's about to show a major in my life. I know. I can't even imagine it, but I know it's about to be major. And if y'all, as long as y'all keep following me, y'all gonna see it too. So I just wanted to get on here and encourage you guys to pray, pray, and keep praying because your life, will change right before your eyes when you seek God and trust in him and believe in him to do the things that you ask him to do. So again, guys, as always, be motivated and stay inspired.